Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney. Welcome to my channel today. Thank you so much for being here. So glad you're here, all my subscribers and the ones that haven't subscribed. I hope you will subscribe. Touch the like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and it helps me to reach more and more people. So I am talking about today, closed doors with kindness. I have three points that I want to talk about. The first one is if your fiance leaves you with cutting words and bitter words, uh, then thank God they're gone and be the better person. You take the high road. Okay. These, th these are the three thoughts that I wrote down in regards to closing door with kindness. The first one, if your fiance leaves you with cutting words and bitter words, I know I've been there with cutting words and bitter words from a person that you really, really like. You may really, really, really be in really, really, really like that person. You may be at the point of being in love with that person. And then they come up with cutting words and bitter words. They'll reap that you want because it is best to respond with kind words to an individual. There, there, you know, there's a saying that goes something like this. A soft answer, or you can you can say like soft words, because it takes words to to say to, to make an to give an answer. Okay, uh, <laughs> the, you know, soft a soft answer or soft words turns away wrath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sometimes I've had to really consider the person's intelligence. Um, it may have been that they just had a bad day. It may be that they have gotten bad information or hard information or disturbing information about someone that they love. Um, somebody that they love might have got a bad report from a doctor. There is a plethora of things. It could be a person that's trying to leave. Um, that Actually, if you want to sit down and think about it, they may be doing you a favor. Um, that was the second one. Uh, thank God they're gone. Because you know what? You just don't never know what you are save what kind of heartaches you are saving yourself from by letting that person act like they act and not come back cussing them out or telling them off or giving them a piece of your mind, but being kind. And that's what I'm talking about. You be the better person. You take the high road. Let them take the low road. You take the high road. And give it some time. Sometimes people, if you just need to blow off steam, uh, it's just a, a, a moment situation that they find themselves in and they, you know, they've reached a boiling point, a pressure point, and they just, you know, Blow the stack. Blow the top. You know what I mean? And it may not really be anything that has to do with you. It may be something that has to do with someone else. And they've, if you've been in a relationship or you've been, in, been walking around the face of this earth a long, long time, you eventually run into something like that. And it's really not has anything to do with you. It has to do with them. Uh, it has to do something that maybe that they're having to deal with inside themselves and it really doesn't have anything to do you to do with you but however if a door closes 
close it with kindness. You'll always be glad you did. You'll always come out a whole lot better. And it, I don't know, there's a, there's a feeling about an individual on the inside. This has happened with me that I always was just, just let it go, close the doors. Uh, sometimes you may not have a, um, opportunity for you to close the door. It may be something that they slam the door shut. And you might not can respond to them in kindness per se. But you know what? You might get to respond at that time, but you might get to respond to them in kindness later on. Because you know what? I found out life happens. And you've, you've heard me say this in, in the previous video. The measure you measure it out is the same measure it'll come back to you. I've never known that to, to fail. Anybody that really shows themselves or is ugly to another individual, eventually that ugliness will come back to bite them in the butt. And you know what? I'm, 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 I'm going to talk real Southern here. <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. Mm -mm. No, it's really not. So if you gonna, if you have the opportunity and you're the one closing the door on a relationship or on whatever it is, a job or whatever, it could be any, close it with kindness and you'll, you'll feel a whole lot better about yourself. And you know what? The other person will feel good about you also. Even though, or the situation, even though it didn't work out, you just ended it with kindness. Well, I have another one I'm going to talk about. It's called Close Every Door with Promises Fulfilled. And that's on the next video. So make sure you're come back for that. So thank you so much for being here today. I'm so glad I found you. I'm so glad you found me. Go out and make it a great day. I'll see you next time.